Greetings, special centurions, and welcome, fellow YouTubers, back to Oblivion. We are currently just outside the Imperial City in Memorial Cave, where we have been slaughtering hordes of vampire undead and are now just up ahead about to face down Serador, who tricked us in the Order of the Virtuous Blood into finding someone called Genseric, uh, Roland Genseric, telling us that he was a vampire. When we got there, Roland told us that it's actually Serador who's a vampire. So we just got to kill him. That's all we have left to do. I think he's up ahead there. Yeah, that looks like him. Let's just have a look around here quickly first. Make sure there's nothing. Hey, he picked up a key, but it wasn't for this gate. I wonder what that's for. Maybe his house back in um, the Imperial City, perhaps. I think that's him just ahead. Let's quick save it. Yeah, it is. You fool! Did you really think that I'm surprised to see you here? Not really. I let you find me. What better place to get rid of you than all the way out here? Well, why am I No fool? messy bodies left behind. No evidence. I was sloppy last time with Roland's lover. Full and confession. I won't make Glad the same to hear it. After I'm through with you, I'll find Roland and finish what I started. I knew hiring you was a mistake, but I had to keep up appearances. All right, fucker. The damned order insisted we get you into the picture. I think after I'm done with Roland, Gillen and Greyfurt will have to be dealt with. Okay. Quite a list of things to do, wouldn't you say? Well, enough of my monologue. <laughs> he admits that he was monologuing, chat. He admits that he was monologuing. Oh shit, he's a fucking lightning mage. He's a battle mage. This is going to be tough, chat. This is going to be really tough. Fall before me. Oh shit, he zapped me into oblivion. Yeah, he blasted me into oblivion. Alright, we're going to have to run outside probably and get the guards to help us. I can't see us any other way of defeating him, to be honest. He's so insanely powerful. Can I shoot him with an arrow? Well, he doesn't, he doesn't attack us until we talk to him, does he? So let's come in here first. Let's loot the place. And then we can just run away afterwards. Or what I mean by run away is mean once we've got him chasing us, we can just run back to the Imperial City, have the guards come out, kill him, and then there's nothing here for us. Because we've explored everything. Yeah, basically. Let's quick save quick save it here. I just want to go back. I want to explore the rest of the cave, actually, chat, because there might be some good stuff in here. He's just stood there until we talk to him. There's this area over here we have to explore still, so let's go do that. And then we can always just talk to him, run back towards the town, hopefully find some nice Imperial guards who can help us kill him, and then we don't even have to come back to this cave. There's nothing here for us once we've dealt with... Um, once we've explored this other... Oh, this is a dead end. Once we've explored the rest of the cave, that is. <coughs> right, there was a ghost in here, so I don't know if we're going to be able to kill it. 
Oh, I quick saved back there, didn't I? I should have normal saved. Whatever. Turn. Yeah, there's the ghost. Let's get the silver bow out with silver arrows. I think silver hurts ghosts. Whereas any other weapon doesn't. Oh, there's an enemy there as well. If we shoot just him. Her, as the case may be. Oh, it's an archer. Right, the vampire should come outside now, whereas the ghost will stay inside because animals, creatures, whatever, things that aren't humanoid don't come through doors. So she should come running outside now. Even though it's full friggin' daylight. Vampire acrobat, you say. Oh, the ghost did come outside, chat. We've been rumbled. Good thing we got into this vampire when we had the chance, because that ghost is going to be a real problem. Right. Skeletor just swinging away wildly, doing absolutely nothing. Oh shit, he fucking blasted me. Okay, we're still good. Oh, I did it again. Luckily, he's not doing too much damage. Oh, he keeps knocking me on my feet with his ice spells. Die, ghost. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, I fucking face planted that time. Miss me, fool. Right, gotcha. Ectoplasm. We have spent like two days just clearing this cave so far. It's taking forever, chat. Vampires. I didn't notice him. He turned invisible. Oh, he's no longer invisible. But it's a battle mage vampire, so we have to run around. So outside we go again. You need to be able to shimmy to the left and to the right and dodge about and stuff. Here he comes. She fucking burdened me, chat. I can't move. By five. Alright, we can drop the fur curious, the leather shield, 
and we're under. Oh, Skeletor interrupted that casting. Good one, Skeletor. Where'd she go? No, you killed Skeletor. How dare you? Ow. Ow. Oh, Skeletor just pounded her face into the rock. Nicely done, Skeletor. She had a Daedric dagger, but I think it was a summon. Let's just pull her out of the way. Yeah, her dagger's gone. Move your butt. Let's move her butt. Eh. Yeah, it's gone. It was a summon. Continue chat into the depths of the vampire stronghold. We've already contracted porphyric hemophilia, so all we need to do now is rest to become a vampire, which I'll do when we get back to the city. This all appears to be clear. Bunch of bones. Another vampire up ahead, I think, behind that stalagmite. Or not. This looks terrifying. Fully illuminated cavern. Oh, it's a skeleton archer. It was there was a guy there. It's a skeleton archer. Well, you can take him. Clear apart from him. Looks like it. Nice. So we're at the point where we can kill undead fairly easily. So we should be able to go back into um, whatever it's called. Vel Velaran or whatever. That first place that we cleared. Uh, and kill all the undead in there to get the statue that we can then sell. So the dagger I will take. More flesh I will take. Still somewhere up ahead. Is there anyone in there? Hello? Anyone down here? No, it looks like a dead end. Yeah, dead end. Dwarven Curious, though. Nice, I will take that. What can we drop, chat? What do we have that's garbage? Um, steel Dagger can go. We're 27 over. Well, we'll have to drop some of this steel, I guess. We can make some potions, actually. That'll help. Let's do that quickly. Make some potions with everything we've got. Nothing. Candlelet cap has nothing. Exoplasm we can use. Imp gall has nothing. Come on, really? Was it just all the food? Milk thistle seeds, nothing. Mandrake root, nothing. We need a third primrose leaves, nothing. Yeah, I guess that's it. 
And how do we do? 286 now. We are 16 over. That did a lot, actually. That did quite a lot. 16 over. The silver bows are worth tw away 12 each. Are only worth... Oh, why have we got a steel short sword? That can go. So now we are six over. We'll drop the steel gauntlet. Okay. So this is the cave now cleared. Completely cleared. All we have to do is kill Serador and we're good. And in order to do that, we're going to have to run and duck and jive and keep quick saving as we move along. We might have to drop the armor, actually. So we're faster. In which case, I should have, I should have done it back there and kept all the items I dropped, whatever. Didn't lose that much in value. <coughs> so yeah, we're going to have to move fucking quickly. And run out and hope that there's a legionary somewhere. Because we're not going to be able to fight Serador on ourselves. He's too powerful. Too much health, too much damage output with his spells. Uh, and just generally too beastly. Did you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Here, Skeletal, get him. Oh, he killed Skeletal in one hit. Wait, is it left or right? Is it left or right, chat? It's left. Oh, shit, he almost hit me then. Skeletal, block him. Linebacker Skeletor. Oh, Skeletor's down again. Skeletor, I choose you. Go. <laughs> he just keeps fucking him up in, like, one hit. Oh, fuck me, that was close. Ow, that time it actually hit. That time it actually hit. Owie. Owie. Oh, it drained health. That's what it did. He's just behind. Does he follow us out of the cave is the question. If he doesn't follow us out of the cave, then he's directly behind us. Oh, it's night time and it's raining. That means he probably will follow us. Yep, he's followed us. See, so we need to get up to the road and hope that there is a Imperial Guard. Help! Vampire attack! Ow, my health. Fucking hell, he's right behind us. Okay, the road's just here. And now we run up this... Oh, the bear, there's a dead... Oh no, that was the vampire we killed. Oh no, it is a dead bear. So there's a dead bear there, which means there should be a legionary somewhere nearby. Because we didn't kill that bear. Oof, that was close. Is that a vamp? Is that... I see, I saw a light over there. I saw a torch, I think. Or I thought I saw a torch. Nope. Oh. Okay, there's dead animals everywhere, but no fucking legionaries. <laughs> there's one. Legionary, help me. Help, sir, help. It's a vampire. <laughs> Sorry. Stop. Oh, fuck off. Oh. That's so annoying. That is so annoying. I should have quick saved it. I accidentally hit the guard once after the battle was over and he rested me. Okay, it's fine though. We know there's a guard up there at least now, so we just need to run back there. This time I'll quick save it when the guard initiates combat so we don't end up doing the same thing again. Howie. That best you can do. Yeah, run away. That's what I do. I either run away or I surrender. Be grateful I'm not begging to you. It's pitiful. It's embarrassing. 
you'd, be, you'd feel ashamed of just being alive if I turned around and yielded to you the way I normally do to enemies. Ow. See, even though we haven't... Uh, ow. Even though we haven't upgraded our, our speed at all, and um, we're wearing heavy armor, we can still outrun him. So speed was something else we did wrong in the first playthrough. It's really not necessary to upgrade your speed at all. It's not a very useful trait at all. And I pumped loads into it, so it was just a complete waste. Oh, please tell me he's still here. He's not here anymore. Oh, the legionary's gone. Getting tough. The legionary went. I should have quick saved it when I had the chance, chat. There he is. Okay, let's quick save it. I've slain Serido, I should immediately return immediately to Roland's cabin given the news. Please don't tell me that I accidentally hit you again. I think I accidentally hit him again. Let's find out. If I can't repair, no, I'm good. Help, help, I'm being attacked, says the guard. Fucking hilarious. Chainmail boots, curious. 283, because I picked up his Dwarven Sword, right? Yeah, I want that. That's pretty good. Okay, so Silver Dagger's only worth... So how much do I need to get rid of? 13. So what's worth the most? Silver Dagger's only worth 40, so that can be dropped. And then the Steel Boot. We're still 8 over. The Steel Boots can go. Stop right there! Yeah, I thought so. So let's load the quick save. Unfortunately, we ended up hitting the fucking guard again, and he just cowered instead of arresting us immediately for some reason. I don't know why. I'm just going to let the guard do the fighting. Because he kills him pretty quickly, and we barely do any damage. Yeah, what do you say to that, Serador? Yeah? Not such a big vampire now, are you? Remember the Emperor! Get him! Get him, guard! He keeps healing. On the plus side, the guard might die, and then we have even more equipment to repair. And a good shield. Doesn't look like it, though. The guard's kicking ass. There we go. Good work, Mr. Guard. This time I didn't accidentally hit you, so we're all good. Um, pull out fucking repair hammers, repair everything. And actually, just thinking about it, we finished the mission, so I don't need my armor anymore. So I can actually drop the Arena Heavy Raymond, and that puts us way under. So we've got all the stuff to sell now. Oh, another guard came. Good. Let's just talk to this guy just to make sure we're not under arrest. Yes. Yeah, thanks for your help, mate. Appreciate it. The Emperor is dead. Yeah, much appreciated. Uh, that is the mission done. We just need to go back to... We'll fast travel to Roland's house to make sure we don't get attacked by anything. Uh, go inside, let him know that he's dead, and then we're good. Do you return triumphant? I do. I hope you're here to bring me good news. Yes, Serida is dead. He's dead? Oh, thank goodness. I feared I'd never be able to leave here, or worse, that he would come for me. I can finally return home. Indeed. The ironic thing is that I think the order of the virtuous blood should continue its work. Perhaps I'll speak to the others. Yeah, good idea. Yes. I think that the order will live on. Give me time to make arrangements and meet me in Seridor's basement. Oh, sounds frisky. Let us never speak of that abomination again. Okay. Horrid creatures. Does that mean you're leaving now? I'll see you in the... Please, I've much to do. Rumors? Captain Lex blames the Grey Fox for stealing the tax collection. He wants a bounty put on the Grey Fox, but the Legion commander has refused. How do you know that? <laughs> I'll see you in the Imperial City. Yeah, leave now so I can loot your house. No, he's not leaving. Okay. Straight to the market district so he can sell everything that we've got. 
time is it? 1 and 30 in the morning. Was there anything we needed to do at night here? We needed to go fishing here, but we're too heavy. Actually, well, we don't have the armor. Um, so let's just wait until morning. If we wait, though, we'll turn into a vampire, which is what we want, right? So that's fine. One, f so six hours should be fine. Six hours. Uh, no vampirism yet. I think you have to sleep for vampirism to occur. Actually, it's just when you're, when you are a vampire, waiting increases your vampire level. Your vampirism, the degree to which you're a vampire. Let's just look around here for repair hammers because we used a fucking shit ton in that mission. I don't have to buy more because they're quite expensive, and we've got some time to kill while the shop opens. Oh, I need to talk to her about the Corrupted Watchman as well. He got arrested while we were at the cave. So I want some kind of reward for that too. Bitch, better reward me good. No repair hammers anywhere. Hasn't respawned. The stuff hasn't respawned yet. It's 8.07. Why is it not open? Is it a Sunday? No, it's Heartfire. She likes me. She's at 79 now. May okay. I interest you in so some we should of be able to haggle and get her up to like 60% probably. We're selling. Sell the Dwarven Short Sword. Yeah, nice. Silver Bow can go. Yeah. So can the Silver Dagger. Silver Long Sword can go as well. Chain Mail. Dwarven Curias. Steel Boots. Steel Greaves. Damage fatigue, damage fatigue, That's damage fatigue, damage luck, damage luck, cure poison, frost shield, healing, restore fatigue. Grand soul gem with a greater, I'll keep that, that's good, create a greater charge in it, that'll be useful Tell at some point. Uh, right, any fucking, no. My cousin says the beggars. Interesting. So we can't, we can't talk to her about the guy who was arrested. So we must have to talk to someone else. Maybe the two who um, testified. Maybe they'll give me something for getting him arrested. I'll have to keep an eye out for them. One of them was a red guard, like a fairly old red guard. Uh, the other one was an orc. And we're going to that temple district. That's where they were anyway, I believe. If I'm not wrong, I believe they were located in the Temple District. They lived in the Temple District, so we just need to look around for them in the Temple District and we should find them. I'm not going to sleep just yet, guys, because I don't want to become a vampire just before I hand in the quest for the Order of the Virtuous Blood. It just seems wrong for some reason. Take the heavy raiment back. Put it on. Okay. Or I might speak to the captain, actually, if I see the captain anywhere. He might be like, thank you for helping us with that issue. Here is a nice fat reward for being such a good citizen.
problem is I need to find him again, find out where he was. Is that him? Is that him? No, it's Ron and Lex. Yeah. Not you, not you. Where on earth is it taking me? What's it doing? Oh, it's because I'm not in the temple district, I'm in the arbitrarium. Whoopsie. Now we're in the temple district. Okay. So let's look around here. It's not down here, is it? Yeah, Laurent Laurent was one of them. You. Well met. Uh hello. I saw Irene Metric recently. Okay. Damn watchman. I bet they're all pricks. Well met. Okay, so they're not giving me any money fast. Try Gen C. Okay, so they're not giving me anything at all. Well met. Yeah. They're not giving me anything for finishing that mission. Is there still a something to be handed in? No. Imperial corruption. Don't seem less than wrong. Hopefully, it will serve less than for any other guy. Let's think about shaking down others. So we didn't even get anything for doing that. We just finished the mission, and that was it. That's a bit disappointing. Thought we'd at least get some gold, like a bounty of gold or whatever, for helping. Uh, what's it called? Reveal the corrupted watchman. We have to find the captain, see if he gives us anything for it. Last time we found him, he was in the inn. I didn't know Cerado was a vampire. I swear. Yeah, well, you're still a prick. I serve Roland now. Please accept my apologies for my error in judgment. Hmm. I don't have an error in judgment, and I say you're a prick. This is all still stealing, really? Ridiculous. I should be able to get all this stuff for free. This should be mine. Chest is locked and it's hard, but it's Sarada's stuff. Hello I should again, get all this friend. stuff. This should all be it's mine. It's so good to see you again. I've spent a good deal of time speaking with Gillen and Greythroat. They agree that the Order should live on. Yeah, they were fucking useless. Not only that, but we'd like to make you an honorary member. If you're ever in need of our services, we'd be happy to provide them for you. In addition, we'd like to reward you with this enchanted ring. Use it well in the fight. Ring of Sunfire added, okay. At least there are a few less vampires in the world now. Well done. But there are more of these creatures that still roam Cyrodiil. Why would you want the order? If any of our books can help you in the cause of destroying more, you're welcome to read them. Thanks. Since you're an honorary member of the Order, if you bring back proof you've slain a vampire, we'd be glad to compensate you. Bring back the vampire dust from their remains. That should be proof enough. I do that, but I need them to. Um... Excellent. How much did we get? Two hundred and fifty gold. Did that take all my vampire dust or just May one? The sunlight always safeguard your path. I hope they only took one. Let's have a look. Yeah, it only took one. So you get two hundred and fifty gold for bringing him vampire dust. That's crazy. That's crazy good. Let's read all these books, because he said the books might help. So, let's just take a quick gander at them. Yeah, why would you want to continue the Order of the Virtuous Blood when they were too stupid to realise that their leader was a vampire? Too stupid and useless as vampire hunters to realise that the main fucking guy was a vampire himself. What a prick. What a bunch of idiots. Yes, brother. He's a fine man. You sure he's not a vampire as well? Those wanted posters. Does that mean I can help myself into what is in the chest now? And it's nothing. Are you fucking kidding me? There was nothing in there this whole time. Oh, it's now not stealing anymore. So we can help ourselves to whatever we want in here, basically. I'm pleased and it doesn't, to see you again. doesn't count as stealing. You remind me of my home. This does. This does. This does. Okay, so it's just stuff in the basement. Okay, whatever. Let's get out of there. Yes, there certainly are a lot of vampires in the world, aren't there, chat? But there's about to be one more. <laughs> Little do they know that I'm infected and I intend to see it through to fruition. Get your black horse courier here. I need to find the... 
Where was that in? Was it down here? No, because I haven't explored there yet. Down here? No. The All, the All Saints Inn, that was it. I think that's where the guard captain who arrested the other guard captain is. So let's just go there quickly and take a look. Yeah, this may have been it. I'm not sure. No, this wasn't it. Okay, so it wasn't there, wasn't there. Not there. Not there. So maybe it wasn't here. Yeah, it wasn't in this district. It must have been in one of the others. Maybe the Talos Plaza district? I'll go to the Talos Plaza district quickly. Because I think it may be in there. And I want to find... I want a reward for this before I forget. Was it in here? No, it doesn't look like it. The roaming flask may have been it. Let's go check out the roaming flask. See if the guard captain's there. What is it? Okay, so this was the bar that we went How in and found him in, but he's not here, so maybe he only comes in a certain time of night. We'll have to keep an eye out for guard captains and just speak to all of them. Can't even remember what his name was, to be honest, truth be told. Okay, so what mission do we want to do next? We could do two sides of a coin. Another maiden, tears of the saviour, seeking your roots. He needs 20 more samples of Nernru. How many samples of Nernru do we have? 13, not enough. Uh, yeah, let's go... Let's go to the arena and sleep and turn into a vampire, first of all. That's the best bet we can do. Best thing we can do right now. Then we'll go to Wayne and Priory, dump all the vampire ash that we have because I'm and garlic, because I'm going to need it to unbecome a vampire if I ever want to. Sleep for an hour, turn into a vampire chap. Yes. Yes, blood. So that's how it works. You plod along, putting one foot before the other, look up, and suddenly there you are, right where you wanted to be all along. Excellent. Another four in endurance. I will take that. Another three in strength. And then we've got agility plus two and everything else. I'll take two intelligence because I need more magic. How come we didn't become a vampire? Did we not get infected by a vampiric? Yeah, porphyric haemophilia. Maybe it takes a certain amount of time. We'll, turn, we'll become a vampire eventually, chat, I promise. But we didn't get it this time. I don't know why. We should have done. Porphyric haemophilia. Why didn't we become a vampire when we slept? Maybe other people were around and that stopped it. I don't know. Let's go up to uh, Wayne and Priory, drop off the vampire ash that we have. Keep all the arrows on us because we need them. Just Oh, I forgot about the Ring of Sunfire. I forgot to check what it does. Potion of healing we need to drop off. Garlic we need to drop off. And vampire dust we need to drop off. Um, Sarah does house key we don't care about. The key we picked up from the uh, the cave in Sarah's lair. That I don't know what that does. It hasn't opened anything yet. Let's keep it on us for the moment. But oh, it opened the chest, didn't it? It must have opened the chest because the chest was unlocked. Or maybe maybe we should have unlocked the chest before Serida told us, not Serida, Roland told us we could take anything we wanted from the basement. Maybe there would have been better stuff in there. I just want to check. Do we have a save before that? I want to see. Let's save it here. Yeah, we've got to save there before we drop the things off. I'm going to save this. Then I'm going to load this save. I'm going to go to Serida's house, and before I talk to Roland, I'm going to try and use the key to 
unlock the ha the chest and see if there's better stuff in there. See if there's better stuff in the chest that was locked in the basement. It is me. Hi. See, we should be able to crouch. They shouldn't be able to see us here. No, it's still hard. So the key doesn't unlock this, but it's still a hard chest. So we may get some good loot in here. And they haven't seen us, so we can keep the loot. So no one's going to notice us stealing it. Okay, so we'll just load this. No problem. So, did we drop everything off? I can't remember now. Dwarven arrow, iron, silver, steel. Got the steel stuff, got all this. Got all that, dropped off the garlic and stuff. Do we need any? I'll drop off the grand soul gem as well. Because at the moment we don't have anything that needs charging. So that will keep until... Yeah, we've got 13 repair hammers. So we'll keep the grand soul gem until we have an item that needs charging. Still got repair hammers, so that's good. Uh, let's go up to Bruma and sell the flawless diamond whilst we, whilst, um, and then do the other Bruma mission. Resist disease and reflect spell, nice. I was gonna say the resist disease is a waste of time because we're about to become a vampire and that's 100% disease resist. But reflecting spell 11%, that's really nice. I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice ring, nice ring. Uh, let's go to Bruma. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Sell the stolen diamond. I'm really tired. How much do you I'm like listening. me? Only 62 still. Yeah, my favorite customer. Yeah. What do you got? A flawless diamond, son. I think I can move this item for you. Huh? Okay, let's do the two sides of the coin mission now. What do you want? Can't you see that I'm upset? Yeah, I can clearly see you're upset, you mean bitch. Our affairs are none of your business. I don't know who you are, and you think I'm going to talk to you about my ex-lover? All right, all right, chill for a second. Just chill your beans. Let me tell you a quick joke. Yes? Oh, she loves it. She loves the jokes chat. She hates top left. Don't waste... You've... That's... I doubt it. <laughs> I... Not... That's enough. Don't try to manipulate. I can't. I doubt it. Don't try to manipulate me. I don't. I can't argue with that. I don't. Don't. I can't. Oh, that's great. That's really too much. I suppose I can trust you with this information. After all, if you can help me recover my stolen gold, you may find yourself earning some of it. Sounds good to me. I know what you've heard all about Jorunda and his run in with the town guard. Well,. Let's just say it isn't exactly all true. Oh. I may have let a detail or two leak out to entice someone such as you to assist me. Until you agree to my scheme, I don't want to say more. Well, you've already admitted to having well, a scheme, lady. That's that guilty in my books. A lot of money. Are you in? Oh, we're making money, eh? I can't believe we both like money. Okay, keep talking. I'm in. Smart answer. Here's the deal. Jorunda and I have had a rocky relationship at best. Against my will, I've been dragged all over Cyrodiil helping him commit petty crimes. Oh no, not petty crimes. I wouldn't say we're thieves. Nothing I mean, lower than a petty crime. Demons, sure. But we've never stolen that much at one time. 
Just enough to keep us going. That is until last year. Jorunda started to take risks and began robbing more dangerous targets. Not just lone merchants, mind you. I'm talking about the bigger scores, like estates and tax shipments. Ah. I begged him to stop, as I knew that his capers would one day lead to violence. He just threatened to hurt me if I got in his way. I think the gold changed him, I really do. He wasn't the man I met seven years ago. The few times I tried to say something, he'd strike me or push me away. I began to become frightened of him. Uh, that's not good. Our last score was a tax shipment being delivered to the What's a tax shipment? We robbed it, and in the midst of the chaos, Jorunda killed a guard. I was mortified. We snatched up the gold and holed up in the mountains. He said if I breathed a word of the murder to anyone, he'd kill me. I was terrified of him at this point. Two days later, the Bruma City Guard traced us to our makeshift campsite. I was off gathering food, but Jorunda was captured. Served him right. When I went back to the site later, the gold was gone. He'd moved it! What I need you to do is go to the Bruma Castle dungeons Finally, and speak to him Finally, get to the point, all. lady. Jesus. Convince him to tell you where the gold is and then we split it. Ah, sounds good. Any rumours for I me? I can't make up my mind about the prophet in Anvil. Is he? Mm, okay. He's not likely to just come out and tell you, so get creative. Don't tell me what to do, lady. I don't tell you how to sit here being a bitch. You don't tell me how to do my job. How do you do? How do you do? Howdy doody. Right, I haven't got anything stolen on me, have I? Because I think at this point you have to do something. Whoa, what were you guys doing in there? Circle jerk. Fucking million guards all suddenly spawn in. It's like, oh, oh, biscuit game. Hide the biscuit, quick. Excuse me. I need to visit a prisoner. What a bother. Don't be too long about it. I got to stay with you, so there isn't any funny business. Okay. Funny business like me pulling down your pants when you're not looking. He's got a silver mace. He's pretty powerful. I don't know who you are, nor do I care. All I know is that I want you to leave. Oh, come on, buddy. Tell me about the gold. I'm not talking to you about anything. You're an outsider. I bet you're trying to trick me into telling something and the guards put you up to it. That fetcher of a guard, Terelius, is always trying to be sneaky. Well, you can forget it. Tell him it isn't going to work. Okay. Jorunda refused to speak to me. He said he doesn't talk to outsiders. I think he's referring to the fact that I'm not a prisoner. Sounds like the only way to get him to talk is by getting arrested. Yeah, I think I thought so. That's what I remember. Right, any of my stuff stolen? Because I don't want to lose it. I think I've put all my stolen stuff away, right? Or sold it? Yeah, good. Okay, let's save it. No touching the locks. What if I hit you in the face with my sword? Blam! It's all over, lawbreaker. <laughs> Your spree is at an end. My spree? I hit you I'll once. Any stolen goods you have. The next move is yours. Pay your fine, or I'll haul you away. I'll do jail time, thanks. I'd rather go to jail. Hope you rot, criminal scum. Yeah, well, maybe I will. I've committed a crime and been sent to jail. Perhaps now I can convince Joran to tell me about the stolen gold. All of your prompt... Oh, tutorial. All of your possessions have been confiscated by the guards. You'll get them back when you've served your sentence. Activate the bed to begin serving your sentence. Well, first I'm going to take all your food. So now you've got nothing to eat. <laughs> you've got nothing to lose. So why not just tell me and save us both a heap of trouble? Yeah, sure. And I suppose I just end up rotting while you spend it all? <laughs> Forget it. You're going to end up rotting here anyway, you idiot. 
Look, you horse's ass. I never trusted city guardsmen. Never. So I'm definitely not gonna start trusting you, Torellius. Suit yourself. Enjoy your stay. Maybe I will enjoy my stay. What this chump doesn't know is I'm turning into a vampire as we speak. I can feel it in my blood chat. I can feel it in my blood. Destruction is 42, Conjuration is 38. Illusions are now 59 already. So that's awesome. Anyway, let's talk to this guy. By the way, the guards tossed you in here. I can see you're no friend of theirs. That could have been a setup, you idiot. You are such a dumb dumb. I suppose I can trust you. In fact, maybe you can help me with a bit of a problem and make some money for yourself in the process. I'm in here for the long haul. They got me for murder, even though I didn't do it. Once the Count makes a ruling, there's no way it's changing. Is that right? I owe all of this to that heartless, treacherous witch, Arnora. Oh god, I sense a long story incoming. You want to know what happened? I'll tell you. I do want to know what happened. I was I'm betrayed. Desperate. Stabbed in the back. I'm in here and Arnora's out there, living in my house. Ah, we were doing petty crimes all over Cyrodiil. Small scores. Ten gold here, twenty-five there. Nothing big enough to have them investigate you. Then along comes Arnora with a plan to waylay a tax shipment headed for the Imperial City. We're talking serious goal, complete with armed escorts. Okay. I told her she was crazy, but she insisted. Women have a way of getting men to do what they want. So we did it. We ambushed the shipment. In the process, Arnora killed a guard. I told her to be careful and just knocked them out, but she didn't listen. We then buried the gold in the woods. Then she disappears to get supplies. Suddenly, the campsite gets raided by the Bruma City Guard. Oh man, sucks to be you. There's no way they could have found us. No, obviously not. Well, there's no doubt she tipped them off. But I was one step ahead. I had moved the loot while she was away. <laughs> My final revenge. Or was it? What are you getting at? I'll tell you. I want Arnora dead. That's right, I said dead. She took my life away, and now I want hers taken as well. You do this for me, and you get the gold. All of it. All I need is proof is that damn amulet show is where's. Show that to me, and the money is yours. Cool. I can do that. You want the gold? You bring me Arnora's amulet after she's dead. Cool beans. All right. Finally, a chance for Let's serve our sentence. Blade skill decreased by one. Oh, is that all? Okay, good. Did we get everything back as well? Yeah, we did. Good. We didn't steal our lovely rings. That's good. Let's quick save it. And let's go talk to our Nora. But guys, unfortunately, that is the end of the episode. We've run out of time for the time being. So I'm going to end things here and pick things up again tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching today, guys. I hugely appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing. We'll be back tomorrow morning with another episode of Oblivion. Hopefully see you all there for that. If not, I'll try and catch you in some other content I produce. I try and make content every single day now. So, so I'll wait till next time.